It's not uncommon to have three or four remotes for your home theatre setup. You could have one for your TV, one for your streaming device, and one for your receiver, not to mention controllers you might have for gaming consoles. Logitech has long been on a mission to do away with the idea that you need multiple remotes, through the Logitech Harmony lineup. The Logitech Harmony Elite is easily one of the best universal remotes out there, thanks to its powerful features and ton of options. But there's a new device that could end up being just as popular, the Logitech Harmony Express. But the Harmony Express isn't a replacement to the Logitech Harmony Elite. On the contrary, it's aimed at being a simpler, less complicated alternative, adding voice controls and other smart features. But does it sacrifice too much just for the sake of being less complicated? We've been using the Logitech Harmony Express for a while now to find out. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos, we'd really appreciate it. The first thing to notice about the Logitech Harmony Express is its design, and it's immediately clear that Logitech has made an effort to make a simple and easy to understand product. The Harmony Express is made up of two parts, the main base and the remote. The base itself is a puck-shaped device that measures 3.5 by 0.8 inches. It's a sleek black colour and should look right at home on any TV stand or entertainment centre. Then there's the remote, which is also made of a black plastic. The remote measures 5.18 inches long, 1.8 inches wide, and 0.52 inches thick. On the face of the remote, you'll find a directional pad at the top with a central selection button, along with playback controls, volume controls, and software controls. It's really a pretty intuitive design and should be easy to understand for anyone that has used a smartphone or smart TV platform before, considering the similar themes. Setting up the Logitech Harmony Express is, thankfully, far easier than setting up the Harmony Elite ever was. You'll start by downloading the Harmony Express app, after which you'll create an account and then tell the app what kind of devices you have in your setup, how they're connected, and how you use them. The system should then figure out exactly what device you want to use and when. It's really pretty smart. A good example of this is our setup. We have a TV, an AV receiver with a few speakers, an Apple TV 4K, a PS4, and a Nintendo Switch. The Harmony Express knows that the volume controls should control the AV receiver to turn up or down the speakers, while the menu buttons and home buttons should control the Apple TV, at least when it's being used. At other times, those buttons might control something else, like the software on the PS4. The whole system couldn't really work without Alexa, which is kind of the point of it. Replacing the dozens of buttons on the Harmony Elite are voice controls, including controls for turning on and off devices. Notably, the system is set up in a way to control multiple devices at once, intuitively. For example, when I ask it to turn on the Apple TV, it knows that I don't just want the actual Apple TV on. I also want the TV and the AV receiver on so that I can watch content from the Apple TV. The same is true for turning everything off. But it goes a step further than that too. The device is able to open individual apps on the Apple TV. So if I ask it to go to Netflix, it'll turn on the Apple TV, the TV, the AV receiver, and open up the Netflix app. For those with a cable subscription, the same is true for individual channels. Of course, with Alexa, the device has other powers too. You can use it to control smart home devices, search the web for information, and so on like you would any other Alexa device. Generally speaking, the Logitech Harmony Express worked almost seamlessly in our tests. Perhaps the biggest downside to consider is that there is a bit of a learning curve in using the device. Why? Well, because of the fact that you have to learn which words you want to use in order to achieve the desired result with Alexa. For example, you have to say to turn on the Apple TV, but you can't tell the remote to turn on Netflix. You have to tell it to go to Netflix. It's not a big deal, and you will get used to the phrases, but it's still something to keep in mind. Of course, there's also the fact that you really have to get used to using voice controls, and only voice controls, even to turn devices off. You can't really activate scenes at the push of a button like you can on the Logitech Harmony Elite, and it can get tiring to have to use voice controls all the time. It would have been nice if Logitech had included a power off button on the remote to simply turn off all the devices that were on. Another small downside, of course, is that you have to be comfortable and happy using Alexa. There's no option for Google Assistant here or any other digital assistant, and while other assistants may roll out as an option in the future, we wouldn't hold our breath. All that said, the Logitech Harmony Express really has a lot going for it. If you don't mind using Alexa regularly, then the Harmony Express is a great option. 
It's easy to use and easy to set up too, making it particularly good for those who already have setups in the Alexa ecosystem. You can get the Logitech Harmony Express for yourself using the link in the description. Please subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching. Again, my name is Christian and we'll see you next time. See ya.